Dear citizen, every so often, we are faced with a choice, to fight for what is right, or to allow ourselves and those around us, to be controlled by the greed of others. We are fighting for free speech. We are fighting for the truth. We ask you to join us. We understand the common ground we share is greater than the petty differences that divide us as a whole. We stand at a unique time in our history. The rise of the Internet and computing technology have contributed to an unparalleled rate of prosperity for the first world. We have created for ourselves an empire unlike any other, a global network of constant trade and communication, a new age of technological advancement. We have come a long way from our humble roots in the Industrial Revolution and the days of manifest destiny. We are now pioneers on new digital frontiers expanding our domain from the quantum world to the far reaches of space. And yet, the empire faces a crisis, a global recession, growing poverty, rampant violence, corruption in politics, and threats to personal freedom. As it was before in other times of crisis, the old stories have begun to repeat themselves. The half-truths, this time repeated nightly on cable news, and echoed through a series of tubes onto the Internet, the empire is strong, change is unwise, business as usual is the answer. In times of uncertainty there are, those who seek to add to the confusion, to prey on our insecurities and fears. Those who would seek to keep us divided for their own gain. The pervasive strategy takes many very convincing forms, liberals and conservatives. Christians and Muslims, black and white, saved and sinner. But something unexpected is happening. We have begun telling each other our own stories. Sharing our lives, our hopes, our dreams, our demons. Every second, day in day out, into all hours of the night the gritty details of life on this earth are streaming around the world. As we see the lives of others played out in our living rooms we are beginning to understand the consequences of our actions and the error of the old ways. We are questioning the old assumptions, that we are made to consume not to create, that the world was made for our taking, that wars are inevitable, that poverty is unavoidable. As we learn more about our global community a fundamental truth has been rediscovered, we are not so different as we may seem. Every human has strengths, weaknesses, and deep emotions. We crave love, love laughter, fear being alone and dream for a better life. You must create a better life. You cannot sit on the couch watching television or playing video games, waiting for revolution. You are the revolution. Every time you decide not to exercise your rights, every time you refuse to hear another point of view, every time you ignore the world around you, every time you spend a dollar at a business, that doesn't pay a fair wage you are contributing to the oppression of the human body and the repression of the human mind. You have a choice, a choice to take the easy path, the familiar path, to walk willingly into your own submission. Or a choice get up, to go outside and talk to your neighbor, to come together in new forums to create lasting, meaningful change for the human race. This is our challenge, a peaceful revolution, a revolution of ideas, a revolution of creation. The 21st Century Enlightenment A global movement to create a new age of tolerance and understanding, empathy and respect. An age of unfettered technological development. An age of sharing ideas and cooperation. An age of artistic and personal expression. We can choose to use new technology for radical positive change, or let it be used against us. We can choose to keep the Internet free, keep channels of communication open and dig new tunnels into those places where information is still guarded. Or we can let it all close in around us. As we move into new digital worlds, we must acknowledge the need for honest information and free expression. We must fight to keep the Internet open as a marketplace of ideas where all are seated as equals. We must defend our freedoms from those who would seek to control us. We must fight for those who do not yet have a voice. Keep telling your story. All must be heard. For in the choice between continued slavery and freedom there simply can be no choice. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.